welcome back to Karma Life Readings. I'm Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, if at any time you resonate with this reading cancer, go ahead and hit that like button. Remember to use your spiritual discernment in determining whether or not this reading resonates with you. Also remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else to prevent any confusion. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of you that have been uh, donating, purchasing readings and um, using the super chat. I love that. I appreciate that. And I just I just love the support. You guys mean so much to me. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. You can use the code YouTube to receive 15% off. Before we get started, Cancer, when I was connecting and, and meditating and praying over this reading, I did tap into an energy here of someone who is like actively aware and focused on changing a family, like something that you feel like you may have inherited. It could be a generational curse, just a perception, a belief, something you were taught, like you are trying to change the way you are, but it's all stemming from something that you were taught or learned through your family, through your upbringing, okay? And so for a lot of you, I do feel like it's gonna be um, like generational curses, things like that, karmic cycles and patterns, okay? So let's take a look and see what comes up here for Cancer. All right, you have create. You're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now, Cancer, and it needs to be expressed in a bigger way. You also have grounding. You are being asked to ground yourself because you're sp uh, spending too much time in your head. It's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling that this will bring you. And then you have have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that at this time. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. You also have bravery on the bottom. So you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off making because of fear. But you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision. And once you make this final decision, Cancer, you're going to feel so much lighter. I feel like this um, has to do with something that, that you already are trying to create and build, right? Especially like when we were talking about... Um, a couple minutes ago when we were talking about generational curses like i feel like maybe you're trying to do something new or change the way that you um live your life or anything your behavior cutting people out like all of these things are shifting and changing and when that happens we do run into moments of feeling like i'm not gonna be able to do this this is more difficult than i thought um and maybe that's why you're needing to ground yourself as well to kind of tap into your faith and remember to always give gratitude even in the moments of loss and darkness, because it will help keep your mindset on track. All right, current energy around you is balance. Cancer, you've had so much Libra energy popping up in, in your reading, okay? This is the Justice card. All right, the number 11 here for Cancer, what is coming towards them? And then you have the Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal is coming towards you. What is the intentions of this emotional withdrawal? Shadow work. What does Cancer need to be focused on? They want you to be focused on the Four of Cups, discontent and boredom. You're bored with something. What's the outcome? Sacrifice the hanged man. So you're going to have to let something go. You have mental conflict, accelerated motion, choose wisely, victory and success with hope and patience. I do see the devil here. Mm. 
don't know why though. There is one path. I just want to tell you there's a path that's completely laid out for you. There's one that's completely closed off. The other ones you're not really into them. But but you still are having conflict over these choices, over these decisions or which direction is best for you or where you need to go. I think that's also why Spirit wants you to focus on the Four of Cups because I think you're missing an opportunity here or you might miss an opportunity here. And that's why they want you to ground yourself because of this mental conflict. You can't solve this problem. This isn't something that you can go over. You need to give that to the Most High and then wait for the answer because whatever is going on in your in your mind right now cancer it's not going to give you an answer it's almost it's too much anxiety a little bit or maybe anxiety is too strong of a word but you're thinking too much what is this please i feel like you're in the middle of uh shifting a karmic cycle here that's why you have balance so you have a decision to make or something is going to be made right but it's being made right in your favor but it comes with a, a, a disconnect. It comes with leaving something. you got to sacrifice something. Yeah, you have the Page of Swords and the Fool. With the Two of Wands. Okay. I feel like some... Some of you are going to have an aha moment or it's like a light bulb goes off and it helps you in taking this leap of faith. Uh, because this new beginning that you're jumping into or that you've been, you know, observing and thinking about for some time, it's ready. It is ready. It is here. I, I also feel like you're going to be seeing something or learning something that was hidden from you. Like you may find this out through a third party or I don't feel like it's an actual person telling you. I feel like you read about it or see it maybe even on social media or something like that. And whatever it is, it's like, boom, new beginning. I'm letting go. I'm taking a leap of faith. Cause right now you're just kind of at the edge of the cliff trying to decide like, is this what I want? Is this where I want to go? Yeah, why is there conflict about it or like a dispute about this? Hmm. Somebody's upset about some type of knowledge that they're discovering or some type of, um, like somebody gave them either there's something here where somebody gave bad advice or there's like a difference in opinion or difference in knowledge. And it's just, it's like, it's just really disruptive. Maybe the difference in knowledge is that you know somebody isn't telling the truth, like they're lying to your face here. And so somebody gets really mad about how things are shifting in your favor. This could also be a legal battle that you're dealing with. And Somebody is coaching somebody though and how to like battle you or how to fight you or how to, it's really bizarre cancer. It's like, it's almost like somebody, and maybe you figure this out or you find this out that somebody was like, okay, let's do this. Oh, let's say this or let, it's really kind of weird, but all of that's being shifted. People are weird. I'm sorry. That's, that's. What is this, please? Yeah, you need to practice. <laughs> okay, there it is. 
You need to practice attachment because this person is a con artist, whoever, the, that, and that makes a lot of sense. Beware, Judas is near, backstabber, liar, con artist. I mean, it, this isn't a fun situation for you. It hurts. I think there's a lot of regret and sadness, but you are to the point where you just want to, like, I just want to detach from it. Just let me move forward is kind of what I'm feeling here. That's why what's coming towards you is the Eight of Cups, this emotional withdrawal. Um, there's a void and this void that's taking place in your life right now, Cancer, it has to do with this person's energy. It's, it's, it's making you feel a void because you, I think you may have expected more from this person. Shoot, maybe you expected more from yourself. But you're coming to a place where you're awakening to the fact that, you know, I'm not really fulfilled with where my life is right now. And especially when it comes to this particular situation that we're tapping in, it's something that I feel that you are being called away from, that you just want to release it because it's not making you happy. There's also some type of um, emotional pain or like... Um, trauma i don't know if it's as deep as trauma or if it's just an emotional frustration but it needs to be released so some of you if you are by a beach a lake or something by water where you can go sit to kind of cleanse your spirit if you don't have that um, i would suggest doing uh, a healing in the shower and washing away you know maybe even crying in the shower and washing it all down the drain what is this uh, emotional withdrawal for cancer? I just see a lot of shadow work coming up. Wow. Whoa. You're walking away from a relationship, a connection. Um, or at least you're pulling your energy away from a situation that you were, were once working on, but you're no longer wanting to invest into it. You could work with this person. This could be somebody that you work with. Um, it, it may be, for some of you, it's not an intimate relationship. Maybe this is actually work, a partnership or a contract, and you're wanting to walk away from this. The Eight of Cups also represents travel. So this could be a long distance relationship as well. And it just, it's not working out. You weren't able to, to work together or come to some type of agreement together. I also feel like whoever this person is, they make things more difficult than they need to be. What is this emotional withdrawal? Mm, mm, mm. This is interesting. So I see a couple things here, Cancer, that I want to tap into. I feel as though there's two energies coming in. You have com confinement and luck to, to clarify this. And when I'm looking at the other cards, I feel like you're closing out. Now bear with me as I find the words to describe this. I feel like you're closing out a cycle of, maybe it is with a physical person in a past relationship, but it's much deeper than that. It's like a whole belief system of how you approach connections and relationships and all of these things. It's, it's changing everything. Something that held you in captivity and, and was keeping you blocked from any sort of abundance or blessings or, or fortune when it came to commitments and working together with others and maybe even finances and maybe, you know, love. It's all of these things are shifting and changing where maybe, especially with the Eight of Cups, you're starting to realize how, you know, staying connected to these 
connections that aren't pouring into you the way that you're pouring into them are, are no longer beneficial. Like you're just not going to keep giving, giving, giving. Like you give this person an inch, they take 10. You know what I'm saying? And so you're pulling away because it's almost like you're reworking the way that you approach, handle, and show up in your commitments like you want to make you want to do right and you want people to do right by you but you have to set yourself free from whatever was holding you back from that that reward or that blessing yeah you got a decision to make here confusing energy mm -hmm. confusion does not come from god for cancer Unresolved trauma is rising. Shadow work. Dark night of the soul. Yeah, so there could be father wounds here. You're in the middle of a spiritual promotion, which definitely makes sense as to why you're experiencing this energy. Some of you may feel very stuck and unable to move forward. I want to clarify for you that it's not that you're unable to move forward, Cancer. It's that right now isn't the time you're in this energy right now because this is where you're supposed to be this is what you're supposed to be energetically working on and releasing and and slowly making the steps to get out of i feel like you're releasing yourself from a soul contract that somehow tied into a generational curse it's, it's, it's something in how you show up in relationships or the type of people you were attracted to or what you were surrounding yourself with. And this desire to be around that energy was coming from something within your family or how you were raised. Okay, take it how it resonates. But that's why I keep saying a generational curse because that's, that's what it's showing up as. So the intentions of this disconnect, the eight of cups, because some of you could have moved away. Some of you could just travel, but you went away. This eight of cups, you walked away from something. And the purpose of it is the moon. It's shadow. A lot of deep reflection, a lot of looking at oneself, a lot of past traumas, unresolved traumas rising to the surface. We see that here. This is the shadow work. And that's why this is happening. It's not happening to keep you down. It's happening to help you address what needs to be released. Clarify, please. The King of Pentacles. So this could be tied into your, again, father wounds, commitments, money. The High Priestess. Your intuition to, ooh, Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign that's coming to, wow. Who are you dealing with here? You got two people here. You got Taurus energy and Libra energy. And I see them. You have the Queen of Swords with the Two of Swords and Justice. That's Libra. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. And then I got the Hierophant right here. That's Taurus. That's Taurus. That's the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords is Libra. And then you got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So let's talk about this. Okay, so this shadow, it is. It's about how you connect in relationships because you have this new opportunity that's right here in front of you. Ooh, there's another card here. Oh my gosh, the Magician. What, what, what's going on? You manifested this. Cancer, with the Magician, this new love that's showing up in your life, you manifested this new love. Yeah, the high priestess. And now, and that's why they want you to focus on this four of cups because you're going to miss an opportunity here. And that's why you're in mental conflict because I don't, there's this other person here that uh, it, three of swords, queen of swords and the two of swords. This is heartbreak. There's a blockage that's placed on this. There's something that you weren't seeing or this person isn't seeing and it's being made right. But you have manifested a relationship over here or a partnership over here 
through your investment in self because you changed something in your life cancer and it has to do with like so for some of you it's like you just moved away or you just like um dropped people like just i can't I, I can't deal with you anymore like things were shifting and you were doing it for the betterment of yourself right so you were investing in yourself so you, then your money started getting right you were loving yourself and now your love life is going to get better or your relationships your friendships however you want to deem this but again this is something that you have manifested something that you've brought towards yourself through your commitment to wanting to do better and healing But now I feel like what you're going through and what's being brought to the surface with this shadow card and the high priestess. Because this is, this is like, this is shadow work. Okay, 100%. And um, it is definitely, I'm just going to say it, there was definitely somebody around you who was manipulating energy, okay? Because I could also read the moon card and the high priestess as somebody who's doing dark energy work or you know black magic or it's like somebody was trying to get you stuck or manipulate you in terms of like your finances and your commitments and all of that but really what i feel like i'm tapping into is there's a shadow release here um in terms of your perception on how relationships work based on how you witness love and commitment and relationships as a child and what you were kind of shown as a child. Okay. What is this shadow? Yes, yeah, stress. This is a headache for you, natural disaster, and you're hesitating about it. Cancer, whatever you're going through, because you have hesitation, bully, live and learn and trap. You got blind strategy, loss, blessing. You got stress and natural disaster. Now, something is stressing you out. And it has to do with this Judas, this backstabber, this liar. And it's like you're so, you may have a headache and, and it's such a risk. Whatever you're taking is a risk. If you guys are healing generational um curses you're going to have some family members that don't agree with what you're doing even if they don't know that that's what you're doing right like you're just trying to move in a new direction and if there's going to be so many blockages to try to stop you and the key is perseverance here and not to miss these new opportunities and not to go backwards okay um i would also kind of keep your movements quiet Yeah, keep your movements unknown. I also feel like there's just too much damage in one situation here. But again, when you make this when you make this leap of faith, a blessing comes in, a reward comes in. What is this, please, for cancer? That's what it is. Generational curse. You are the chain breaker. That's exactly what this is, Cancer. Yeah, see, there's somebody around. Look, you're leveling up spiritually. There's someone around you who is not telling you the truth. They're lying to you. They talk about you. It's just, an, it's just a mess. It's just a mess, whoever that is. Trust your intuition, okay? Let things fall. God is realigning you. All right, Spirit wants you to focus on this Four of Cups, this discontent, this boredom. Why? The Ace of Wands, it's like this opportunity, Page of Pentacles is right in front of you. Well, I don't know why you're not seeing it because you got the hanged man here and then that's the very next energy here. It's like you're just still waiting for something or you're in limbo. And I feel like you're really, really stressing out about your next move. 
and how you want to show up or what you want to create here. Yeah, there it is, the Four of Cups. Don't look at the past. If you're going to look at the past, look at it from a space of gratitude to see how far you've come. Not on what you think you're missing or not on what somebody did to you and you just need them to recognize and apologize. And don't look at anything as a loss. Look at how far you've come from the past. Yeah, because somebody here was trying to keep you stuck. I don't know if this was a sneaky link, if you weren't really there full time. Like something is going on with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is not, yeah, the Six of Swords. You got to walk away from that. Because someone was keeping you stuck in a to toxic cycle and you weren't really aware of what was going on. But whatever was done in the dark is coming to the light. And this person, that's what this mental conflict about, is about. Because you may sense something. You sense something intuitively, Cancer, about this person, this situation, or this past energy. But you're struggling with really just letting it go and having faith in creating your new beginning. Because a part of you is like, well, what if I'm wrong? Or maybe you feel bad. Because it's they're confusing you because they're not telling the truth. That's the only reason why this is confusing. What is this, please, for cancer? I told you they're binding you. They're literally trying to obstruct you. So spirit wants you to focus on this. They want you to focus. They want you to sit with your energy and focus on what is truly preventing you from taking these new opportunities. Because you've got the ace of wands here. But it's like an obstruction. What are you afraid of? Withdrawal. Rejection. Quit. Some of you be, could be quitting. This is random too, but you could be quitting a job because they weren't paying you enough. So you move into an, uh, to another area or to another job. Give me one more, please, on this discontent and boredom for cancer. You have grown out of a of a situation here and spirit wants you to really reflect on that so that you can fully release this energy hold that it has on you. Yeah. It was a relationship or it was something, some type of partnership. It was something. Live and learn. This was a trap. This person didn't act. They weren't. I'm sorry that you went through that. So I don't know if you're going to divorce. Libra, yeah, you really could be. This is legal issues here. And then you are healed. Regret, remorse, deep sadness. Something's ending. But it's really the ending is to make it right. You have legal issues. Divorce, jail, contracts, and court. So... I don't know how this shows up for you in your life, Cancer, but you could be leaving a job, getting a new job. It could be anything. It could be a rental contract. It could be a marriage. It's something that you're walking away from because you had a betrayer. Yeah, time to review your relationships in life. Addictions and codependent behavior are present. You are breaking cycles. Someone likes to trigger you emotionally. Do not react. And your outcome is sacrifice. Allowing something to fall apart so that you can become enlightened and move in a new direction. There's something also that you just need to release from your from your system, from around you. It's time to let it go. Tell me about this for cancer, the sacrifice. Eight of cups, walk away. Yep, there you are, King of Cups. That gives me the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. Ooh-wee. You're walking towards your fulfillment. You're walking towards your fulfillment. What is, what's going to bring you into alignment? What makes you happy? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. What? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles? Some of you, yeah, you have a whole new situation coming, in, coming into your life. But six of cups or six of swords, eight of cups. So you're literally moving or walking away. Your sacrifice is to, to do what is best for you, Cancer, to make you happy. I 
feel like some of you are walking into some type of like, maybe not just a relationship, but it's like with this, the sun, cause I keep seeing the sun. It's just like expansion. It's what you've been looking for. It's, it's a reset because the karma, karma is served. Yeah. Daydream. You manifested this, whatever this is, is coming your way. You manifested it and then you took action on it. Somebody, you learned your lesson. You learned your lesson because somebody was trying to get in the way. You may have shared your dreams with somebody. And then right after you shared your dreams and your goals with this person, you learned they couldn't be trusted. <laughs> you learned they couldn't be trusted because all of a sudden you were stuck and nothing was moving forward for you because you got cursed and trapped here. So what live and learn. Okay. I can't tell everybody. Not everybody wants what's best for me. This person is not happy for me. They don't want me to have this success. I've been seeing this all throughout the reading today. I did, who did I do? Aquarius, Gemini. It's not easy when you're going after your dreams. Like there are things you're gonna have to sacrifice. There are things that you need to be aware of. There's going to be difficulties. There's going to be speed bumps and road bumps, but in the end, it's worth it. You are a healer. Stop doubting your gifts. You are the light. Remember, someone needs to take accountability here. Clarify, please, for cancer. Closing messages. Someone needs to take accountability because they're just repeating cycles and patterns here. Yeah, you're under attack. Spiritual warfare. Use your spiritual authority. The past is holding you back. You need to be present. Forgiveness might be needed. Yeah. So, like I said, you are you're you're under attack. I feel like it has to do with you finally like choosing yourself or making the move to move to go in a direction that is of expansion and growth for you. For some of you, this could be like ending a relationship or, or I don't know, a contract, a divorce. That's what keeps showing up. And that particular situation is upset about you having a new beginning. They don't want you to move forward. It just is a, it's a bad case of jealousy here. And so I feel like this energy or this person just keeps trying to put doubt into your mind about what you're capable of doing with yourself and with your life, okay? Because you have another energy here though, because I showed you those two energies. So they want to be with you. And Spirit's like, you know, time to review your relationships in life because you've got a new beginning coming here. But then you've got a person who's unstable and it says God is stretching you exercise and honor your boundaries. Honor your boundaries, set boundaries for yourself and then enforce them. It's hard to do, but it's it's so worth it in the end. All right, Cancer, I'm sending you so much love on this journey, and I look forward to hearing from you guys.